Hello, y'all. It's Axios Diaz with Divin Shield Entertainment, bringing y'all a Lucky Wheel token event. Um, this is my currently most hated event, just because of the fact that sometimes it takes a freaking ton of tokens in order to get the stupid barrel. Um, I liked it better when there was more things that you potentially could get in there, and all that they've done now has been just changing what you can get with barrels. Um, which I wouldn't mind as much if I could just buy a barrel outright for points because I've got over 22 million of them and so spinning for nothing but a barrel when you have everything is expensive and stupid. So anyways, <laughs> with that said, um, I did go ahead, I've got like 200 some draw token uh, voucher so I'm going to go ahead and start drawing and let's see. How many we have? Okay. Unfortunately, also, you can only spin one at a time, which is garbage. I think I started off with like 212. Um, actually, we'll quick verify this here. Let's see here. Inventory. How many, how many vouchers do we have? Dang it. Uh, 214. So I had 216 starting this off. So let's get in there. Lucky wheel. Token spinning. I know there's a lot of people that are aggravated about all the things that they've done that use points here with like heroes and stuff recently. I think they could super solve that if instead of making things necessarily or having to make certain things expensive in order to be able to use the points, um, is just to give us some other uses for points. Because once you have everything that you can use points on, then points seemingly become meaningless. And thus they end up having to release characters or skins or something then that cost seven or eight, you know, three, four million points just so that way people that have points have something to spend them on. Uh, but then even in that case, and it's like I'm literally sitting on over 22 million points right now because I do these event videos and, and different stuff like that. So. I end up earning the points faster than I actually have something to spend them on. So, either, well, I'd say a bunch of special skins, all point usage, but that would make a lot of people not as happy if uh, they're all point use. Um, making some kind of like conversion mechanic maybe, where we could spend X number of points in order to earn essences. I mean, that would be an option. Well, I mean, the essences and stuff wouldn't necessarily well, be great. I think just like a substitute currency. So when you have X number of points, you can use them for draws. You can use them for token draws, gem draws, you know, hero draws for like the new hero stuff. You be able to buy heroes if you have. And now, of course, I'm not saying like a dinky, like low amount value, but just pretty much to where if you have a high enough points, you can just use them as a replacement for pretty much any of your other currencies. Um, or if even they just added it, like I said many times before, just so you can use points directly by a barrel. Like a barrel costs 5 million points or 8 million points or however many. I mean, I would, I would find that amazing because I wouldn't have to spend money to do the event. I was just like, oh, 8 million points. However, I'd be also completely fine with just making it that you could use points to spin on the token. So they didn't want you to buy the barrel outright with points, at least use, allow buying vouchers with points. Um, kind of like when you do the gem spin and your gem rewards end up being usually less than the gems you use to spin, unless you get the good things. I mean, they could do the same thing with the, the points. So like right now, our highest point value that we could spin is 69,999. So pretty much, you know, 70k points. So make it like 100k points to spin on the lucky points or something like that. So that way, or at least 70k points, something around there so that most of the time, it's not like you're gonna be able to infinitely spend off of points. Um, 
but at least you have something that you're able to get back using the points. And that might actually even still then be too expensive, maybe it would have to be cheaper. Maybe if the lowest point you get is 40k points and the highest is 70k points, maybe it's somewhere in the middle. Maybe like 50,000 points. I mean, that wouldn't necessarily be too awful because most of the time you're not actually getting points. So, ever so often you spin. I mean, you used to get points all the time on the old Lucky Wheel and you'd get huge quantities of points. I mean, you'd get hundreds of thousands. I think like you could get like 500,000 points and 200,000 points and you know, like a million points. I mean, you could get a lot of points on the old Lucky Wheel. The new Lucky Wheel only gives you like 40,000 and 70,000 points. So, I think if they just made it like 50,000 points, then when you get points for everything else, you could just go ahead and spin your token, and that would probably make a ton of people way happier. I know it would make me happier, um, and anybody else that had a decent chunk of points, it would just make, I think, barrels a fair bit more accessible. I'm curious if we're gonna actually get this thing before hitting 200 lucky points. I know last time I had a spin for a barrel, it took a lot more than 200 in order to get... I'm pretty certain the last time I spun for a barrel, it ended up taking more than 200 lucky points before I was like, oh, you're lucky. It's like, no, I'm super unlucky. If I was lucky, my lucky points would end up being somewhere like, oh, wow, my lucky points are 12, 20, even 100, not 200 something. But, like I said, conveniently, when they've had these tickets discounted, I'd been buying them in the past, just so that way I'd have a bunch of draw tickets when this event came back up again, because I knew it probably would come back up again, and probably without allowing me to spend points. So... We're at 63 lucky points used. And I'm going to have a lot of shards again. I was starting to deplete some of my skin shards a little bit, but I was still sitting on top of hundreds, so I'm assuming when this is all said and done, I'm gonna do gobs of those things again. They need to add that too. I need to be able to do, or they need to in general, they need to be able to add or allow gifting to be able to be used with your shards. I mean, if I'm sitting on top of 500 shards for like skins or heroes, I should be able to use those shards to be able to buy my buddies or subscribers, fans, different folks, skins or heroes. Because, I mean, they're my shards, so I should be able to spend them on myself or on other people if I want to. Especially when, when you've got people then that you know, like me, because we do these events and stuff, we're sitting on mass quantities of skin shards and hero shards. It's just kind of dumb that you get to a point where you have all these things and you can't use them to unlock skins for other people. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a while. I'm going to try to do this here as quick as possible, but unfortunately, there's, when you're doing one at a time, I mean, this is five times longer than if I was able to do the times five spin. It's almost like they're saying, hey, use our draw token option. You want to, it's great. But then it's like, because you're using the draw tokens and you're not using the, or the draw tickets and you're not using regular to tokens, we're going to punish you. You're going to have to do this one time each one not five at a time just one at a time so that way you might be like i've got all these tokens but dang it it's taking so freaking long or i've got all these tickets but it's taking so freaking long i'm just going to go ahead and just spin tokens instead just to speed up the process like make you work for this i'd also appreciate like a times 10 
But right now, even a times two at this point would be useful, but a times five would be much better than a times, times two. Or what I'm stuck with is a times one. I guess y'all are stuck with this as well. I guess for everybody else who doesn't want to actually watch all the individual spins, you can just kind of like go close to the end of the video and just see roughly about how many it was where I announced like, oh, it took X number of skins. I started with this number and I'm down to, yeah, this. Or I ran out of token, or not token, I ran out of uh, tickets. I had to spend X number of gems. I certainly hope I'm not going to have to because like I said, I, I started with 216 tickets. If I have to spin more than 216 times, that's freaking stupid. I'm sitting on, I'm also sitting on Premiere. Otherwise, if we can't use the things to buy for, like, folks, what would also be nice is if you could gift things, like a gift essence, or gift skin shards, gift hero shards, gift Premiere skin exchange cards, because I'm literally sitting on two Premiere skin exchange cards, which the stupid thing about the Premiere skin exchange cards is they state that they cannot be used for new heroes. Okay, so guess what? A brand new hero comes out, and you have skin exchange cards, or a new skin comes out, or a new hero comes out, and you've got a hero exchange card, or you've got skin exchange cards. You're supposed to, like, what, wait months before you can use your card that was like, oh, it was an award for getting to whatever level. But we don't expect you to ever be able to use it now, because you don't have any old heroes to use. We just want you to wait months and not use the hero skin so that you can then use the exchange cards. So gifting exchange cards, that that should be implemented. Just that it's like a general happy community feedback item. Just totally saying. That that's we need that. Being able to gift the item, that would be cool. Or even maybe like event things, like maybe you have are doing like the different event things, earning items, playing games, and you've already unlocked what you wanted from there, then you could like just gift like your extra items, like whether it be like little firecracker stuff or Christmas trees or you know, Santa stuffing, stocking, whatever, or like I have, I've actually gone ahead and won borders on some events twice. Well, winning two borders does you no good because it's not like I can have, woo, I've got uh, the border and it says times two, indicating I earned the border twice. It's just, here's an item in my inventory that's a waste. And uh, I can't do anything with it. But if I could gift an item like that, that would be awesome. Um, or even, I guess, maybe if you ended up unlocking the, um, like one of like the legendary type deals or something to be able to then gift the legendary to somebody instead of keeping it for yourself um, if you don't use the item. That, that would be nice. Right now it just kind of stinks the way it's done. I've also got like literally nothing to do with my 67,000 some gold. I was actually looking forward to the diet time like, yay, I'm gonna get to spend some of my gold. That didn't happen. Instead, I'm just adding mass quantities of gold on top of my gold I already have. So I suppose we can add that to the list too. Um, gifting gold. That should become a thing. And gems. Because the concession to not being able to spend my gold was like, okay, well, at least I'm going to get to spend gems. And I spent gems, and I'm back up to 5,601 gems. But with all that in, in consideration, though, I do have to say, they are at least more giving and far more generous than when I was buying the expensive stuff on Mobile Legends. They were definitely way less generous than with this here. Unfortunately, the problem is I already have everything, so when you already have everything, it doesn't really 
It doesn't matter how generous they are on the extra stuff when you're just having to pay for one stupid item. I know some people might be like, oh, well, spend your gold and spend your gems on your, uh, hold on it, not the, uh, your gems, or your level 5 gems and stuff. Well, the thing is, I already pretty much have all the level 5 gems that at this point I'm even interested in. Um, so, I can't even really spend gold or gems on those anymore because... I pretty much have a complete, I've got a couple complete level 5 gem configurations that I pretty much use exclusively for all the characters that I play. Now, there's a couple, I mean, there's still some level 5s, well, I mean, there's still a bunch of level 5 gems I don't have, but that's because they're for things I don't even play with. Like, I don't ever play with base HP as a starting point on any hero, or base mana as a starting point on any hero, or HP regen or mana regen on any heroes. So, specifically spending the gold or the gems for that on heroes, um, I would just much straight up rather have, like, an ADC type book with attack speed and some crit and lifesteal or have a book with, like, max armor, spell resist, and some movement speed, or dodge, um, rather than HP, mana, mana regen, HP regen. And I know you can go ahead and use that one specialty to go ahead and give you, like, the, like, the 30% boost to what mana or HP, um, that you get, but, personally, they just feel completely... Underwhelming. And woo, I got a Premier ex Skin Exchange card that at the current rate I will never be able to use. It's so exciting. Now, everybody that watches this video, this is my recommendation. Everybody should put in tickets to the game manufacturer and let them say, developers, and let them, and just tell them, hey, Make it so that we can gift skin shards and essence shards and items from inventory to friends. Or to be able to make it so that you can gift items to friends and spend your skin shards or hero shards or exchange cards in order to do so. I'd be completely fine with that too. And if they get enough people submitting that as tickets, then they might actually implement it, and then I would literally have just gobs of stuff I could give away that wouldn't cost me anything over what I've already, like, spent. So what would be really nice then is when I do, like, events like this here and I get gobs of extra stuff that I don't need, well, part of the event is I could give this stuff away. Um, but right now I can't give this stuff away. So, go ahead, that, that's my call to everybody. Put tickets in to expand the gifting features. And that way that would be more fun, because these little events could actually be giveaway videos at the same time. And then I could, prob then I could probably just go ahead and live stream this junk, rather than pre-record it, um, and then upload the video. So, that would be pretty cool. It would be pretty cool to be able to live stream the stuff, get things, and be able to give those things away during the live stream. But right now that's not, not a function, so... There'd be cool things to do, just can't do them. I was playing some games yesterday with uh, Kevion in Real NGS, and I had not realized how low the HP pool was on Zoro. Uh, I was trying to build him kind of like if I was playing... Um, my Mulan, except building DPS first before building some of the tanky items. And I kept activating his passive for the 40 some percent damage reduction, and then I was being obliterated. I was like, why the freak am I taking so much damage? And then I looked at his HP pool and I realized, like, I've got 1600 HP. <laughs> wow, even with 43% extra damage reduction, I have no health. 
so I still end up dying ridiculously fast. I, I had not realized how low his HP was. And then it made so much more sense. Oh, 43% damage reduction. Okay. That's, that gives you a little bit of durability, but not much, based on how little HP he has. And I typically play absolutely horrible assassins. I don't ever play Mulan as a, a, an assassin, I always play Mulan as a bruiser. So, that way she can get in and out of fights pretty easily and most of the time end up decimating some because people expect that she should die much faster than she does. And then she kind of just sits there, takes their beating while dishing out more than what they can do to her. And then if not, then just run away. Go heal back up and then on some creeps and then run right back in and then catch them and kill them before they heal back up themselves. I was also messing around with Phobos. Phobos is pretty cool, but so far the ways that I've been playing him just haven't worked out very well. I need more practice with Phobos. But ranked games right now are not a good place for me with Phobos. Kevion and Rail and DS are much better Phoboses. Oh my goodness. Maybe we'll get this on like Lucky Points 201, in which case it'll be like very close. I need a drum roll. Come on. Lucky Points. I mean, not Lucky Point. Well, Lucky Points kick in. That's what I want. Let's see. Come on, Barrel. We've got over 200 Lucky Points now. I hate spinning for barrels. I think I've mentioned that quite a few times now. Almost there. The anticipation. The building. Oh. For a moment there, it kind of like just slowed down on that stupid barrel. I was excited. I was like, the lucky points are picking in. They're gonna stop it on the barrel. And I was like, no. I know some people say move the barrel around, change the order, but personally I don't think that makes any difference because truthfully there's like a little teeny tiny percentage chance no matter where you move it around. It just makes it move around different, but ultimately it's still like the same percentage chance. It's all gone. It kind of paused there momentarily again on the stupid barrel and then it moved on. Come on. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna actually have to go buy those stupid replacement draw tickets. Oh. Wait, I still got another ticket? There we go. Oh wait, that's right, because I started with a couple lucky points. Before, there we go. Oh, there we go. I've used up all of the tickets, so now I'm gonna go buy the other tickets that I still got in here. Promos! Let's see here. I'll buy these stupid big max pack, lucky wheel voucher token. And all time special voucher box. Lucky wheel token vouchers. Dark on. That's freaking expensive. How many in how many is this now? Inventory. I'm back to 200 token vouchers there. So, let's go back to Lucky Wheel. I had like 216 because I think I started with two Lucky Points. So that Lucky Point value there, that'll be the count. And I've got 200 right now, so we'll keep doing this. This Joker better be here soon now. Because otherwise Lucky Points are just like, it's just how unlucky indicator are you? Of course, I've got like some of the worst luck on here. I know I've had a lot of people comment like, oh, it only took me X number to do whatever. But it takes me forever to do things. Oh my goodness, let's go just one more. It only needed to move one more in the right direction. And that one just needed to slow down one. Oh my goodness. 
getting barrels is so freaking stupid. It shouldn't say congratulations at Xyz DS1 a Wendy because it should say feel bad for Xyz DS because he spent a stupid ton to try to get a stupid barrel. Oh, there's an East Stein too from the Lucky Wheel. Big whoop. I don't, I don't need that. All I'm, I'm getting is gobs of shards because I already have it all. And I can't do anything with it. Come on. I need the barrel so I can do the video on the skin. It's kind of hard to do the video otherwise. And I am disappointed with this here too because I'm pretty certain since this one's just a limited skin, we're not getting like the extra legendary like bonus effect thing. Like, I don't think it comes with like an like a, a border or a kill effects or I, I don't think you get anything like special from that standpoint. I might be wrong. I didn't look, but I don't think so because it was just a limited. And that's what's necessary for the stupid one. But I don't I don't think. This one was necessary for the Cupid. Maybe it is. I'll find out either way. But then the Sal skin's not out there yet either, so won't be able to do the Cupid one today. I don't be getting that today since that's not an option. I need this video to end before I like run out of memory on my phone. Ooh, skin exchange card. 240, I want to know what the freaking, like, maximum lucky points are before you're guaranteed to go ahead and get this thing, because it's definitely not 200. In this video, it's proof. Oh, when you've got 1,000 lucky points, it's a 100% guarantee that you'll get a barrel. I was really thinking, I was thinking with 216 tickets or vouchers or whatever for the token that I would be good and not have to have actually bought the extras. But I had loaded up the tokens knowing that I have bad luck on this stuff and uh just in case I needed to go ahead and buy more, which at this point I've already depleted a good chunk of the draw tickets that I just purchased. I'll be up to 50 here soon of the new one. At this rate at least. Oh my freaking goodness! It's a barrel! It's a barrel finally- No, I'm not gonna spin again. Totally not gonna spin again. Okay, so, after doing the event to go ahead and get this stupid barrel, I'm now up to 80,000 gold, 6,140 gems. Um, let's see here, secret shop. I've earned- I'm up another 4 million, well that was with the gem event included, so I'm at 26 million with nothing to spend that on. And um, just for shards, and this, this is not to say, this is not, I, don't take this as me trying to show off here what I have, but this is why I'm telling you guys you need to contact them and put in recommendations for being able to spend essence or shards and stuff to be able to unlock things for buddies, friends, viewers, whatever, because I've got 1,106 hero shards that I can't do jack with. Um, but if I could use them to be able to give other people skins, or not skins, but heroes, I would very happily go ahead and spend them to give other people heroes. I just can't use them. Um, and the same thing with skin shards. I'd happily use the skin shards to be able to go ahead and give skins away, but I have nothing that I can use them on, so they just pile up. They're useless, because I do the events, and therefore I've got all that stuff, I can't use it. So, but if enough people put in requests, to 
the developer saying, hey, um, we want to be able to spend our shards to be able to buy things for friends, and they turn that on as a feature, then I'd be able to use them and actually give that stuff away, um, which would be pretty awesome. So anyways, real quick here, let's do the exchange for the Minerva Blossom, Barrel Redeem. Boom, here it is. Love follows there we go. me everywhere so, I go. Um, let me quick click OK there, and let's actually see how many we tickets we had left over from everything I just got. So I had 216 on the initial, I used another 40, so 256 token vouchers. I'll repeat that, 256 token vouchers is what was necessary in order to get the barrel. So, um, keep in mind if you plan on spending money to buy tokens to try to do the event, that it may cost you a pretty penny. You might buy all 200 tokens at a discount, or, and, uh, or not token, but uh, spin vouchers for the, the token uh, spin, and you still might not be able to get it. You might actually end up having to then spend a bunch more tokens like me, and end up actually having to spin it like 256 times. So keep that in mind. Uh, you do get other concession stuff, which if you needed it, that makes that far better. Just in my case, I didn't need it. So that's where it kind of is a little disheartening um, because it feels like a lot of waste. But anyways, if y'all like this video, please like, share, subscribe, all those great, awesome, wonderful things that help us out a ton. Y'all have a great day. Happy gaming. Laters. Bye.